<clears throat> hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another video of skateboarding with Low. Today's Sunday, uh, April 26, 2020. It's already like 3 o'clock. My, my thing was, I was going to go to the Bellflower Skate Park this morning. I think it's a little too late now to go. But then I heard uh, the all skate parks are closed in California, so I don't know. We could try to go check it out, see if it's open. So what I'm gonna do here, we're just gonna stretch. And then maybe just go across the street and do some, uh, just do some stuff that, you know, I need to, to, uh, to try to, Try to do just basic ollies, switch ollies, uh, fakey ollie and ollie. <laughs> Remember the guy was saying it was knee ollie, but nollie? No, it's nose ollie. So it's called nollie. Uh, maybe 180 front side, front 80 back side ollies, front side ollies, 180. Switch 180 front side, switch 80 back side. It's pretty much the same trick, just doing switch. Which gives it like more of a. It's the same trick actually, but just going backwards and forwards. You know, doing them going forward, backwards, and switching your your leg stance, whether you're leaving your front right foot forward or the back foot, the left foot forward. You know, it makes a difference. Uh, <clears throat> You know, like, uh, it's easy to sit around, like I'm doing, but, you know, stretching. And, uh, it's easy to sit around and <clears throat> talk about skateboarding. But I've been doing that all the time, you know. So I want to do more just, just doing, you know, to build my legs. There's no... My leg's not gonna get stronger by just talking about it. So I think it's more of a doing. Um, so we're just gonna do some stretches for our legs. You know, get it all nice and ready and then when we go over there, I could just start filming like just, you know, just, just try and do the routine. You know, doing routine without the, <clears throat> You know, without stopping, I mean, not saying like hardcore, but my skateboarding it seems like every time I think I'm progressing a little bit, not a lot, maybe like 5% five, 5 or 10%, which is nothing, you know, that's like beginners. And I'm considering myself a, a beginner, you know. And um, when I start doing that, it seems like. I'm like negative zero again, you know, zero or negative five, and uh, then I end up like, because the last video I, I, I really did seriously about thinking about going back to skateboarding, you know, all the time as much as I can was uh, in my uh, turning uh, 48 years old, that was two years ago, because I'm 201. I guess one year ago, because I'm 49 now, right? Yeah, 49, not 50, okay, 49. So one year ago, and in between those months, months and months, not one, not weeks and days, months and months, uh, I find myself just walking or I would stretch here and there, but... Uh, I wouldn't want to be like interested in you know riding my skateboard around at all or really uh, I call it training for myself is because I need to uh, not really like get really serious but you know stay in more of a focus like a routine thing you know a lot of people just say have fun and everything yeah I love, you know, I love having fun, but uh, when you're struggling just to ollie up a curb or something, it's not so fun, you know. And uh, you can't, I can't blame no one but myself, cause I didn't, 
you know, focus and actually go out and try to, you know, keep my, uh, keep my routine going. It's easy to, when you're younger, it's easy to not even, not even think about it is because when you're younger, you just automatically just ride, you know? You automatically just skating. Like I remember just walking, you know, going to dialysis uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I would hear like, you know, somebody riding a skateboard, and they would just ride up and like, uh, you know, no thinking or anything at all. They just they just do it, and that's that's really cool, you know. Like when you see, I always like turn my head and go, "Wow, man, what kind of trucks are those? What kind of wheels you riding?" kind of board is that you know how wide is that board uh, things like that and I'm lacking that and I need to stay more focused you know because uh, I don't feel like my uh, my skill is um, is there so I just need to what's up Brandon yeah I've been great thank you and uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's nice to have fun <laughs> when you can do things, but um, that's what I need to do. I need to focus, stretch, focus, and uh, just ride, you know. So today's video is going to be, hopefully, we're just going to go there and then I'm just going to just try to do like a, you know, like a routine and... and I talk here and there, but just show you my uh, my little routine that you know, like I wanna just to start off, you know, like a baby steps. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna finish stretching and everything, and then uh, we'll head up uh, across the street there to um, you know to go uh, do our little routine thing, uh, skating. All right, so here we are at the park. So. What I like to do is I like to do just like uh, up, back, up, and back. So just just two times up, down, up, down. That's it. So I'm going to do an ollie and then up, down, you know, four times. Do the ollies and then do the switch ollies and then nollies and stuff like that. See us is the beginners, so you know, don't expect like <clears throat> good ass skateboarding. So now, maybe try like the same thing but switch ollies.
you can see, no pop. So now maybe a fakey ollie. Now we're gonna try to do uh, nollies. Ollie front side 180. Wow, that was a good, uh, good idea. But because my my legs are so weak, I can barely do regular ollies. Just jumping 180 actually kind of scares me. Not scared that I'm gonna get hurt. Scared because my leg, my leg's not there yet. To jump that high and then turn 180 and I know my board won't make it because I don't have the muscle so I think I'm just gonna stick with the maybe do as many regular ollies as I can again you know see how many
So that's pretty much gonna be the thing for me. I don't think I'm gonna do fakey ollie or nolly yet. Just gonna work on the regular ollie and come back with the switch ollie. Regular ollie. Switch ollie. One so jolly. That's okay. Negative board control. So maybe now I'm gonna try maybe uh, let the uh, Ollie muscle relax. Just gonna do manuals, regular manual, try to come back, switch manual. And maybe a fakey manual and a nose manual. I guess I'm going backwards. Maybe I should have started with the manuals, then the Ollie, then the Ollie 180. Oh, well, we're here now, so do some more manuals. You know it's easy, it's easy to think about, oh man you should be able to do this for days and go to the end of the park. But those days are gone, you know. Just old war stories that nobody really wants to hear. 
especially me, I don't want to hear it, but it keeps staying in my head. So it's, it's a lot of mental challenge, you know? And uh, that's, that's why, uh, that, that's what's keeping me from coming out here to try this shit. It's like, I can't, you know, all your manual uh, two inches. But then, if I just sit at home and talk shit, I'm never gonna get, you know, halfway decent. So we're just gonna try to do some more manuals, you know. It's easy to sit at home and get discouraged, you know, watching the like, oh, I'm just like watching like Johnny Geiger, right? He's like, oh, I'm just gonna warm up with some flat land. He's doing like 360 kick flips, nollie 360 flips, kick flips, heel flips, uh, kick flip 180 backside, kick flip 180 front side, you know, nollie hard flip, nollie inward flip. All that shit, that's just them warming up. But, this is me warming up. You know, I have to tell myself a lot of times. That's what's awesome about skateboarding. It, it's, it's uh, mental. You know, it sucks because a lot of pro skateboarders don't want to skate or make videos anymore because, you know, they gone down so much. I mean, look, I'm, I'm like barely like on a, this, what I'm doing now, probably someone like some kid just uh, started skating, maybe one day they could do all this shit that I'm doing right now, just one day. Uh, I started back 1985, I was 14 years old, I'm 49 now. And it's easy to get down because you see like John Fogarty or Bruce Springsteen, stuff like that, they're like, the 50s, 60s, 70s, they still rip on the guitar. I'm not downing that shit, but I'm just saying. Or, you know, people say, oh, you know, once you know how to ride a bike, you jump back on. Yeah, you can just pedal a bike, just like push, push up and down on my skateboard. But to actually do the tricks, these me muscle memories, you lose. And it's gone. You know, it's gone for forever pretty much until you decide to mentally try to come and you know I think I struggle with it all the time all the days and days and nights and just sitting there you know contemplating you know like and at the same time not getting mad but just getting uh, uh, disappointed you know because you know because I'm not out there uh, trying, you know, like, you know, when, when I was younger, in my teens and 20s, I was skating, you know, all the time, 10, 12, 15 hours a day, and here I barely do 30 minutes if I'm lucky every day, and I need to do that, I need to come here, like I said, to, that's, that's what's going through my mind right now, and you know, these videos, I'm just showing and showing people that, if you really have the love for skateboarding, you know, it doesn't matter. You're just going to go out and do it. But it's, like I said, it's hard to go out because of the, uh, uh, your pride, you know? You know, like, yeah, especially pros and whatnot, sponsor people.
they have these banging, you know, video parts. Like me, nobody knows shit about me, so uh, it's easier for me. But I can see people that already established their names and stuff that uh, it's hard for them to just come back out. But in the end, man, in the end, you just have to ask yourself, you know, I only live once. And I'll think back like, oh, the first time, you know, you did an ollie, a nice ollie or a nice manual and stuff, the feeling of it is so, it's priceless, man. And when you're down like I am right now, really not really, uh, really not really, okay. Um, the skills are gone, not skills, but the, uh, I have the technique. I have the skills, I have the technique, I have everything, it's just because I, I keep not, not skating, so my muscle is dead, that's the problem. My mind knows what I need to do, but my body can't do it because I lost all my muscles. All my memory muscles, all the muscles that you need to do, and nothing makes me happier than riding my skateboard. And to do tricks and be able to do basic tricks is even better. But then again, you know, the internet, if you're trying to base your status on Instagram or, or internet or YouTube or whatever, uh, you're always gonna lose if you, if you think of it that way. How many followers or whatever you can get, how many likes, how many hate you're gonna get. You know, I get shit like, oh, this video sucks, but it does. But in the end, I'm the one enjoying this and I want to share the love of skateboarding and no matter what the level as you can see I'm like level zero like playing a Skyrim uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim uh, naked you know running with no weapons right now trying to fight these bosses pretty much each trick is a boss the harder the trick the harder the boss so you just think of it that way and yeah, so I think I'm just gonna do manuals and build my calf up, do a couple of ollies, things like that. And um, while I'm skating, if I have something to say, we'll come back and uh, continue.
So I think that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Not pretty much, but I'm gonna keep doing it. I mean, I have this whole, I mean, the, the camera can't follow me, but uh, I could just go all the way around like that, you know, doing manuals like that all the way around till I get right here and do the same thing with the switch manual all around like that and then do a fakie manual all around like that and then do a uh, nose manual all around like that and if and if you doubt you're tired of doing it that way you could go back and do it this way all the way around or you could do ollies all the way around here like that So this is, this reminds me of when I saw this, it brought me back to the 1987, 86, 87 when I was in off, off, off in field, uh, they call it off season, where you don't have a seventh class of anything, you go out into the field and sit on the bleachers and watch people do track and field, you know, this is after the football season. And we'd sit on the bleachers and play our big old boom box and everything and blast, you know, whatever, and make fun of people, throwing peanuts and shit at them while they're running around the track. And if you get in trouble, they call it, uh, they call this bleacher creatures. And the coach, big ass belly, I'm not lying, his belly is like this big. He always has like a big bag of 64, 32 ounces of David Sunflower seeds and his tight green shorts his green shorts in his back pocket with his uh, fucking pirates curl mustache and he chew on it and he spit you know whatever does fucking bleach creatures you 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 give me you know a mile which is uh i think it's four times around the track and me and my, my friend uh scott would be like fuck you you know we just we would walk and he would tell us, hustle, hustle, you fucking grommet or whatever, you know. Making us, uh, calling us names like we're in boot camps and shit. But we're young, you know, 15, 16 years old, we didn't give a shit. And we'd be running and he'd fucking bounce into me and I'd bounce him back and then we'd get in trouble for that. So we'd be at that field for days. Like the bell rings at 3.15 he'd be like, reach your creatures, get the fuck out of here. And then uh, we'd still be running because we had to do extra for fucking around. And sometimes you want to leave there till like five, around five o'clock. And then uh, <laughs> while we're going home, we'd be like, hey, I'll race you to that tree. And we'd, you know, we'd, uh, we'd get sticks and hit each other and shit with it. And that all right there, uh, what do you call it? Um, build up your stamina and everything. You're just fucking around, right? Cause you're always moving and doing shit. But you don't think of that when you were a kid. So, for me, when I see this, this thing right here, brings me back, you know, like I think of all these guys training, like whether they're pole vaulting or uh, high jumping or sprinting or whatever. So I try to keep that in my mind that these guys are doing it and then I try to bring it to my skateboard. So what I do is, I mean, I don't know how many times I'm going to do this because it's, it's pretty big, <laughs> to tell the truth. I mean, maybe I'll do uh, the manual one first for those. And then maybe we'll do, uh, fuck, I don't know. Maybe I'll shoot it that way so you can see it. And then when I come back here, I'll run across. So. All right, so I'll let you see, hopefully. Well, I could put the camera. See, I don't want to put the camera. I don't want to move the camera too far over here because someone could just snag it. I know it's, a, it's not a good camera, it's a shitty camera, but still my camera right so I think I'm just gonna see what happens and I'll just try to do a manual
Why not? And then we'll uh, we'll see how I do after the first first thing. First bypass. All right, so that's how long it takes me to do one of this shit. So that, not only that helps me with my trying to do the manuals, it builds up my stamina too, you know, from going. And if, you, if I could do it without non-stop. So if I go that way switch, it's gonna be front side for me. So I think I'm gonna go the other way. That way it'd be backside. But then again, whatever, you could do both sides, backside. So I could do it that way on my regular, you know, next time. So let's see. So this one, this one we're gonna try, uh, try a switch manual. So you know, as I was coming around, so I was coming around through the back. I was like, I could just push and get over here as fast as possible without trying the manuals or whatever. But then I'm just cheating myself, and that's the great, great thing about skateboarding is when you do it when it counts. You could weigh out, to weigh out, like you could pick out who's been training, training and who hasn't. I mean, it helps to be gifted too. There's some skater that's gifted, you know, like Tony Hawk. Uh, but for majority of most of the people are average or under, like myself, under average, we have to actually work harder. So by, by not doing the tricks coming around because it's behind camera, I'm just cheating myself. And that's another thing these days 
with skateboarding is it's so big there's so much money because shithead fucking bullshit company like Red Bull, Rockstar, I mean yeah they, they, they're helping the sports grow but at the same time they're lining their pockets of course they're not fucking stupid and uh, in the end just like back in the 80s when uh, I remember seeing a billboard of uh, uh, John Thomas doing a doing a launch ramp chicken wing like this like you grab front side and you tuck knee for chicken wing on a 405 billboard for a Nike ad that was in the 80s then they realized that skateboarding was dying in the early the late 90s or the early 90s the late 80s early 90s they put they kicked everyone off the team then slowly they started getting Bam Majera and uh, Pachinita. I remember Pachinita was right from because that's when he was doing good at the X game and then he'd have like Mountain Dew and all that shit so I, I mean I don't blame Powell kicking them off you know they're just riding these skate company just to get bigger bigger more money I mean yeah I mean it's good for him he bought a house and everything with the money but still you know so I don't know what I'm getting at this shit at oh I guess get back to you know uh, you see skaters you know turn up their shit when they see a camera on them or you know the crowds are high and when you're out here I'll buy your lonesome self like here there's no one here there's no one here zero people no crowd no X game nothing this is when you this is for me it's the best that's the reason why I love fucking Rodney Mullen I wish I could just skate with that dude man you know he just goes out at night be in the zone just skating for himself and a lot of times when I skate like this I always think like Rodney Mullen I remember we met Mark Gonzalez once a long time ago and we called him one time and he's like yeah we're gonna go skate like this uh, gas station like 3 in the morning but I was working then I had to go be at work at this uh, diesel place working on diesel cars and trucks and shit like 7.30 in the morning so I was like, oh, I can't do that shit. But now I'm on disability. And then I've been on disability since 1995, 96. And till I lost my vision. And then I think after I lost my vision, I, I got, got to kind of like depress, you know, cause I was hitting my head on everything. And then and I was getting vertical where I push and I would like, you know, uh, fall down and shit I go up a, a, a pump up a, a, a quarter pipe or whatever and I would just fall on my face uh, sometimes I do a kick turn I think I still do now when I do a kick turn I lose my sense of direction and I just fall down and uh, that's a uh, you know coming from just skating being healthy and everything to being that uh, it, it, it really I don't know it bums you out, but just makes you really, uh, makes me not motivated, you know, to do shit. And, uh, and even then, I'm, then and now, here, here, and then, here, now, 2008, you know, whatever. Sometimes, for years, two years, three years, five years, I wouldn't even step on the skateboard. Uh, but now, you know, it takes a lot of, a lot of, dedication and, and, and commitment to keep going keep going you know like Evil Knievel you know I keep thinking of try to get positive influence from like Evil Knievel you know he says this is my profession you know I have to get up you know once I don't get up that's it you know I fail he says I never fail unless I never get up it's true though because you know everybody falls everybody but can you get up again you know you just, that's 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 the hard part and for me for the longest time, I wouldn't get up. I mean, I'd be just sleeping there. Like right now, I was just sitting in there. I was like, ah, it's already 12. I was supposed to go to the skate park. And then, uh, you know, some shit came to the house, some bullshit, you know, you know, family shit. And then it's like trying to keep focus, you know, when sometimes you have like shit thrown at you. 
And then, uh, and then my wife's like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna take a nap, it's kinda hot. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go. My goal was to go to Bellflower and make a skate park, Bellflower, but, uh, it's kinda late. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just go to my, I so my TF, right, it's my training ground. And, uh, you know, some people are not even that lucky, man. They have a little spot, or maybe it's raining and shit. The house have to ride in the garage, if they have a garage. Or maybe in a little whatever. I mean, I got this whole thing. It's a beautiful day, sunny and nice. And when you live in places like California, you get uh, you get spoiled. You, know? you get spoiled because the weather is always great. You know? always nice. But the thing is, the hard thing is to motivate myself. Fucking hair. Hair gets in my face. And uh, to motivate myself to do this shit. So, uh, yes, I could do nose manuals and shit like that. And I think um, it's probably good for now. I'm not, I don't want to push it. I'm not saying I'm a pussy, but uh, not not the, the video before this, the video. The video before the video. Was, uh, I think Thursday. Um, that was uh, a while since I rode my skateboard. And... Um, Man, the next day I felt it. I couldn't even move, man. I had to go to dialysis. I wanted to ride my skateboard, but I couldn't because my neck was all stiff. So then, uh, and then I was like, oh man, I don't know if I should ride. And then Saturday I rode, yesterday, I rode the, uh, I rode the shit to the pharmacy. And then, uh, today, uh, <clears throat> It was sore a little bit, like you see me this morning, earlier I was stretching and everything. And uh, yeah. So we're gonna do a, we'll call it a victory for today. Always, victory, yeah. So we're gonna do a victory lap and then we're just gonna head home. All right, sounds good, sounds good, let's go. So one thing about the body muscle is, uh, it takes time to build your uh, muscle, you know? That's the reason why some, you know, like I, I was read about Bruce Lee and shit, he'll say like, every other day, let's go. Like every other day, he'll be, uh, he'll be running, and then uh, every other day, he would do uh, uh, heavy weight training, and uh, you know, like, do kicks and punches and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so your muscle, Different muscle has to to relax a little bit. Otherwise, you uh, you know you uh, you overdo it. Oh, that's that's my excuse anyway. That's how I feel about it. And when you overdo it, you know your muscle don't have time to to build. You know sometimes like sometimes when I overdo things, oh, you see somebody at a contest or something and they'll like cramp up you know because they they went past their their limit all the salt or electrolyte came out of their body oh it's funny too you don't see Gatorade or anything sponsoring skateboarding you'll see energy drink I don't know I'd rather drink Gatorade I think than energy drink so yeah, the Gatorade has an electrolyte, give you back your, uh, you know, your salt and everything. And then, uh, and then, you know, you, because I remember I cramped one time, I had to go to the hospital. My leg cramped so bad, after I came home from dialysis, I had to call ambulance and everything. And, uh, I'm walking because there's some kids over there. They're swimming in a pool. I don't want to go next to them, you know. I don't want their parents to get all mad at me. So we're just gonna head across the street. And uh, yeah, and and then I told somebody they came by with a, like a 32 ounce uh, green Gatorade, and I drink that, and that's it. My legs, uh, it was stiff for the longest time and I was in pain after I drink the Gatorade that's it it was over thing released 
So, see? See that they swing pull out? There's people across the street doing things. I don't want to bother the people. So, see? There's a lot of people out today because it's nice. And we're just gonna... You know, walk. Not that, but I don't want to get in the house and be all sweaty because, you know, you have to cool down a little bit before you're gonna... But yeah, that's my excuse of, you know, whatever, but it's true. When you go in there, you're like, there's no wind or nothing blowing. And you get so hot and everything like that. And then, uh, see here, see my hair blowing? It's nice and breezy out here still. So, victory lap. Pretty good. Another video. So I want to try to do this every other day, maybe. Say maybe because you know it's I, it's not for nothing. Nothing in life is for sure, you know. Of course, in my mind, I want to do it. You know, but I always throw that maybe in there because you never know, you know. So we're back home. So pretty happy overall, everything. Sweating like a monkey. Um, how I feel right now, sometimes I pause because I'm thinking like really fast. Like I want to say something that's really, you know, uh, honest and motivated. Just in case I get that one person, you know, that's down and out. and. They, when I get motivated, it's um, as of right now, I can tell you 100%. I'm really stoked on skateboarding. My knees not hurting, my legs not hurting. Uh, the weather's been nice, it's been raining last three months, and summer's coming. And I could just go across the street here and just ride right here. And uh, you know, there's no there's no sign, it says the park's closed, or nothing like that. So we're good you know like of course skateboarding has always been on that edge you know hardcore and everything but there's certain hardcore hardcore isn't like ah oh, fuck I'm gonna punk this I'm gonna fucking you know grind this thing without wax and shit like that go fast as fuck that's you know like that's kind of punk you want that's where that that thrasher skin destroy comes in but like breaking the law and disrespecting elders and other people's property and shit, that's that's not punk that's fucking that's bullshit you know like if they say hey you can't skate here then i won't skate there you know i mean yeah of course in the 80s whatever you see like no skateboarding rollerblading whatever yeah no that's that's bullshit that's just that's just they're just putting that up there so they don't get you know they don't get sued if somebody gets hurt try to sue them you know that's the only reason it's there for Cause you look at like other uh, country and shit, there's no signs like that. Like in Laos, shit, you can do whatever, you can ride fucking whatever you want, man. You can ride a moped, got a helmet, barefooted, ride with like three, four, ten people on a fucking one moped, they don't give a shit. But it's just here, there's so many corrupted, greedy fucking lawyers and shit that just likes to get every little thing from, you know, getting some random handicapped person to sue the store because they don't have a handicap ramp or a table that's low enough for them to use or a toilet that's window is wide enough for a wheelchair to go through and shit again just free money for them they just, they just like fucking leeches to live on that shit but like when i watch some you know some videos from like europe or asia whatever you know like my country in laos is really uh really poor so you're not gonna really see too much skateboarding there but you, you might see it now because you know a lot of a lot of uh, foreign people going back there not right now but before the coronavirus you see videos pop up here and there and it's cool you know but then again i mean you can't really i can't really think i keep saying you but i mean me i gotta qu quit saying that I, I gotta just quit saying that like in the third person i have to say it in the first person like, uh, I'm very grateful here in America. I mean, we got side, smooth sidewalks, I mean, for days, man, for eyes can see. Everywhere. 
good good cement. I mean, you saw at the park, the cement's perfect. You know, it's easy to look at some negative imperfection shit about it, but I need to uh, start training my, my brain to look more positive shit. I mean, not to keep a close mind or a blind eye, uh, a blind eye, because you know, my eye is blind, uh, off of something, but, um, but the positive thing is, you know, I could just jump on my skateboard and ride anywhere, anytime. You know, the freedom there is, is awesome. Yes, you see videos of people getting harassed and this and that. But then again, you don't see the whole story, you know. Maybe the person saw them, uh, kicked them out a couple of times before that video part and they never listened, you know. I mean, you never know what happens. But of course, there's always the innocent that gets caught in between sometimes. That's just how life is, you know. It's good and bad. But I have to train my mind to look at just the positive things. Because skateboarding is positive. It's like... Skateboarding has shaped who I am, how I think, how I treat others, how I conquer different things. I mean, yeah, now, I mean, I mean I'm not falling hard like, you know, you see these guys on videos and shit, but um, my struggle is different than theirs, you know. My struggle is just to just <laughs> see if I could ollie, you know, four in a row without, you know, stepping off. I mean, that's my struggles, but it's still awesome, you know, after I do it. So skateboarding is, is uh, I don't know, this turned out to be a more ranting video. But that's what skateboarding below is, mostly just ranting, just getting things out of my head and going day to day and, and like I said right now, I feel 100% uh, great and uh, I want to keep making more of my skateboarding below. As, as, many, as many days that I have uh, off or whatever as possible, any chance I get, I'm just gonna go to my my training ground across the street and just just do laps or do do whatever you know to to build up my stamina I mean I remember riding my bike to Anaheim the first time I went there it took me three times three times I turned around two times I turned around and then the third time I finally went there and it took me like I took like about it's about 13 miles from here to the card store that I go play Yu-Gi-Oh at uh, it took me about 20 or so rest you know, walking and resting and stuff the first time. And now I could just ride there. It took me the first time three hours, almost three hours. Now I could ride there about an hour. And depends if I just bullshit or making videos. If I straight up just ride, I could probably do like one hour and 30 minutes to one hour and 40 minutes. But average about one hour and 50 minutes because sometimes I'll stop getting tacos or whatever. Yeah, so from that to like almost three. So I saved an hour from the first time I went. So same thing here. You know, once you get, once, see I keep saying you, once I get these uh, uh, confidence back up and my time is just going to be more skating and less resting, more skating, resting, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, it will get there, but it, it's going to take some time. And um, I guess I could just, <laughs> I can actually remake the video call starting over, you know, skateboarding, starting over or something. It's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I mean, I could just do that, but I'll just keep keep it with skating, with skateboarding with low, because, you know, sometimes I'm not really training. Like the one I went yesterday, I just went to the uh, pharmacy, you know, just ride around and do shit. All right, man, I think that's enough for today. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, man. See you guys next time. Enjoy and keep on rolling. Alright.